Okay, so I'm not really good at this live thing because I like to ramble. Um, so I'm going to try to not do that. And I'm going to try to answer any questions that you guys have as I'm going. Um, so bear with me. Might be hard for me to keep up. So anyway, glitter pencil cup tutorial. This is what it will look like. That's what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to show you all the colors I have, and I also paint the black, pink, and yellow before I do any glittering on it because it helps me to do less um, layers, and it helps it pop a little bit more. So anyway, the glitter colors, you've got just regular black, regular gold. These are all recollections. And I got them all from a Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They both have them. For the yellow, I use sunflower and silver. And for the pink, I use bubble gum. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Anyway, um, like I said, the only colors I paint are the black, yellow, and pink. This is what I use for pink. It's watermelon. And for the yellow, use my sun yellow. And for the black, black. So anyway, um, I made myself a um, stencil, I guess you can call it, with vinyl. This is what I use for my uh, pencil lines. And all I did was I took my tumbler and I measured around the area that I was doing them on. And I pretty much made one big long line. And then I used my knife tool to cut it into sections because it's easier to apply in little sections instead of the whole big thing because it makes a huge mess. Um, so I've got that right here. Um, these spaces are because I've got two different sizes. This is for my 20 ounce and what was here is for 30 ounces. And I've done a little prepping beforehand because it takes kind of a while to get everything together. So um, for the sake of time, I've got a few things um, already done. So anyway, uh, what I do first is I mark my tumbler and I always use a silver Sharpie because it's a pain in the butt to get a black Sharpie out or any other color, um, even though we're gonna be glittering over this anyway. So I don't know if you can see, I've marked where I want the line to be to separate where my black's gonna be on top and my gold underneath. This second line, is where the point of my pencil vinyl things are gonna go. Um, and it just helps me keep it aligned instead of veering kind of down as you go over the cup. And I don't mark the bottom, I just use this line right here as my guide uh, for my silver ring and then my eraser. So um, to apply, I do three strips per tumbler. And what I like to do first is I'll line the center one up with my logo. I use Ozark Trail from Walmart, um, if y'all were curious. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I will line my, there we go, the center point with the logo, and I'll use my line that I drew to keep it straight. And I'll just put on one piece at a time. And if you kind of get it off the line a little bit, I, I don't worry too much about it. I just kind of move the edge of it back down because I'm not leaving this vinyl here. This is just how I do it. Not everybody has to do it this way, but this is what I find works for me. So as you can see, I already jacked that up, but that's okay. Um, and from there, I will slightly overlap. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing, probably not. I'll slightly overlap my edges and then I'll just keep going and I just want to make sure that my points are on this line that I've drawn so it doesn't get all crazy and sideways later and then my last one this thing takes forever y'all y'all don't even understand so anyway I've got it all on my tumbler all around my tumbler. And what I'll do after that is I'll take my silver Sharpie and I will trace 
the bottom all the way around. And I, for sake of time, like I said, I kind of did some prep work beforehand, so I'm not going to sit here and do all of it because uh, it takes forever. But anyway, so when you pull the vinyl off, because like I said, I don't leave it on, you can see, I don't know if you can see where I've marked where the lines are going to be. Okay. Um, so anyway, after I get to that point, I'll take all this vinyl off and I will tape it. And the reason I don't leave the vinyl on and I tape it instead is because sometimes, like I showed you, I screwed up the vinyl. There's a little lip and I don't want my Mod Podge to get under that and mess up my other colors. So um, I'll take my cup after I've traced all the lines and I, I use painter's tape. I don't really know that it matters uh, what painter's tape you use, but I use this. No idea what size it is. Don't even try to ask me. I have no clue. But anyway, this is what I use. And I will just tape along my lines. And it really doesn't matter if you can see the lines through your tape or not. And I'll overlap my tape like this. So whenever I'm ready to take it off, it'll just come off in one fell swoop. I really hope y'all can see what I'm doing because my back is not. Okay, anyway, so you get the idea. Tape, right? And the two colors that I tape off are where, um, where this gold and this silver is going to be. That's where I put my tape. Um, so I'll pretty much, after I get all of this on, I'll just take my tape wherever my thing is. I tend to ramble, y'all, and I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself because I'm doing this thing live. Um, anyway, so I'll take my tape, and I'm going to apply it underneath the line that I drew for my black because, once again, I'm only covering where the gold is going to go. Okay, and I'll go all the way around. Keeps it nice and smooth. Um, and then I'll have these little holes. I'll just fill them with little pieces of painter's tape if you really want to. You don't have to because, I don't know, it's a waste of tape in my opinion. But you can fill the holes. Uh, you can leave them open. Um, <laughs> Y'all are making me so nervous. Anyway, um, tape that. And the way that I tape the bottom, um, like I said, I don't trace or, or draw lines or anything like that. I just use the line that's there. I'll just hold my tape. And I'll place it up against the line on the bottom. And then I'll slowly go around. And because the cup is not perfectly cylindrical, it has a little bit of a slant to it, I kind of adjust every inch, two inches or so, and I'll go all the way around um, with the tape. So when all said and done, you got tape where the silver goes, you've got the tape where the gold goes. And then I paint with my spray paints that I showed you guys at the beginning. So like I said, for sake of time, I kind of did some previously. That's what took me so long. I was waiting on them to dry. So um, as you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. I spray the pink first. I put it upside down when I'm spraying. I spray the pink first. I spray the black next and I do the yellow last only because the yellow is pretty translucent. So I don't want any color from the pink or any color from the black to be in the yellow. Um, it will show up when we glitter it if it does get into the yellow. So anyway, um, I also don't wait for my colors, for these three colors to dry once I glitter before I take the tape off and do the other two colors. Um, I just don't, I don't know why there's really no point. So anyway, um, I start with the yellow because it's in the middle. And when I'm doing my yellow, make sure you don't get the glue, your Mod Podge, my bad. This is what I use. So Caitlin, you're funny. I use the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. And I just do a thin layer. I don't want it thick, um, and you don't want clumps anywhere. 
So if you do get clumps, you want to smooth them out before you put the glitter on there because the glitter will show those clumps, especially in the yellow. Um, Anyway, so I do the yellow first because when I'm doing my pink, I can angle my cup so the pink glitter will not fall into the yellow glitter. And the same with the black. I can angle my cup the opposite direction so when I'm shaking the excess black off, it doesn't get into my yellow. Um, and it also saves me from having to use a little cup to do the yellow. I've seen a lot of people do that to try to keep colors in uh, specific spots. And to me, this is just a time saver doing it. Um, so as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see this at all because my light sucks in here, but there's little, you know, there are little places where the Mod Podge has kind of like, it's thicker in little places and you can see the lines, they're very definitive. So just smooth it out. Like I said, you want it as smooth as possible before you glitter. So anyway, after you get all the Mod Podge on, just throw some glitter on that mess. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys, uh, when you spray paint, if you kind of um, over spray paint a little bit, it's okay. If you get a few drips, it's okay. Uh, the glitter most of the time covers it up. Um, just don't go crazy and use the whole spray can on it because then it won't be okay. Um, but anyway, I just liberally just pour this junk on here. Like, don't hold back, y'all. And usually doing it this way with the painting, um, I have only ever had to do one coat of every color. Um, so that's nice. So this is just one coat of the yellow glitter. You see how painting helps that tremendously? I think it's awesome. Um, I do use the dishwasher safe, yes, and if I don't get to all y'all's questions while I'm doing this, I'll go back and answer them. Um, I'm a great multitasker, but I just think it's really weird when people do live videos and their face is all up in the screen and they're squinting their eyes and stuff. Um, and I don't want to be that person today. So anyway, yellow's done. I'll do the pink next because I have it on the bottom. And I'll show you guys kind of what I do um, to keep the pink from getting on the yellow when I'm putting it on the bottom. So don't get in the yellow because you're yellow. You just put it on there. It's still wet and you don't want pink in your yellow. Just go around, put a thin layer just like we did on the yellow. And for the bottom, also want a thin layer. You don't want anything clumped up, um, especially with the rim there. It tends to hold glue very easily. So once you get that glue on there, um, we're going to do the pink on the top. Hold your cup at an angle for the bottom and toss it toward the center of the bottom of your cup if that makes sense and just turn your cup. That way when it falls, it doesn't fall on top of your cup here and into the yellow. And then once you've got your bottom covered, you're going to tilt your cup down and pour your pink down so it does not fall into your yellow. I really hope that's making sense, y'all. And of course, at this point, you can't tap the bottom to get the excess off. So just do your best. So there's the pink. It's on there. Looks great. My lighting is so horrible, guys, I swear. Okay, <clears throat> and for the last color before we take the tape off, it's going to be our black. And for the black, I'll hold where my tape is, that is where my gold will be. That way I don't get it on my hands at all. And then you want to hold your cup downward like this, so when you're pouring your black on there, it doesn't fall into your yellow. And um, a lot of people, when they use black, they mix, um, what is it, blitz or silver or some other color. Um, this is much easier, by the way, uh, to make the black sparkle because once you add epoxy, um, it does look like you got some tar on your cup and it is not pretty at all. But I don't do that with these pencil tumblers because when I epoxy, I don't seal my glitter either. When I epoxy, I apply the epoxy this direction 
So some of my gold glitter will fall into my black and give it just enough shine and shimmer, but it doesn't completely cover it in gold. I hope that makes sense. Um, I really am trying to read what you guys are saying, but my screen is so small, so I'm just going to have to go back after the video is done. Um, and like I said, hold your cup downward. That way when the black falls, when you're pouring it, it falls onto your paper or whatever catching your, you're catching your glitter on and not in your yellow because you don't want the black and the yellow. It's a pain in the butt to get out. So we've got the black, we've got the yellow, we've got the pink glittered. Cool, cool. Now... I, like I said, I don't wait for my colors to dry before I peel the tape and put the other colors on. Um, I just think it's kind of a waste of my time because I can't apply uh, the other two colors without um, waiting. So when I pull the tape, I have this handy dandy tool that has now disappeared. So I will just use my backup one. I got this from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. This is the best thing in the world. It is great for weeding your vinyl. Um, I freaking love this thing. Do not step on it because it hurts like a mother. But it's this little tweezer weeding tool type thing. And I'll use that to start pulling my tape so I don't have to get my fingers in there. Um, I hate glitter under my fingernails. So on the bottom where I've taped, I'll just start pulling it. I don't want this on my keyboard. So... Y'all are still blowing up my post where I asked if y'all wanted a tutorial, and it's kind of cracking me up a little bit. So you can see, look at that line. That's where our silver is going to go. And then up here, I did cover the holes up here. Um, I usually don't. I don't even bother about doing these because we're going to cover it anyway. Um, but I was in a hurry. So the way I taped it, do you see this? It's coming off in big sections. I don't have to pull each individual piece. And yes, when I tape around my, um, whatever, my chevron, I cut the pieces to make sure that the ends are flat. And it gives me really, really nice lines when I remove the tape. So I got all my chevron tape off, and now I'm going to pull off this piece of tape, if I can find where it starts. Check it out, y'all. About halfway there. Um, some people might not be able to do this next step very well, because I've got a few friends that um, they can't freehand Mod Podge that great. I love them, but they can't do it. So. Um, let me get rid of this paper that's got my tape on it so I can glitter. So now I'm literally just going to freehand where these two colors are going. Um, well, my husband is texting me saying my video is freezing and I don't know what to do. I hope it fixes itself. I'm sorry, guys. Um, when I apply the Mod Podge to do these other colors, I'll apply away from the color that's on there, and then I'll scoot my brush up just a little bit because you want to make sure that every bit of the cup is covered, but I don't want to drag that black down. So I'll start below, and then I'll push my brush up just enough to where it's touching. Okay, and I'll go all around, all the way around. This is a really tedious part, and it's really boring to watch someone else do it. I'm sorry, guys. My husband keeps texting me. I'm busy. I think he's watching this video. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so now I've gotten all around the top Mod Podge. So now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to do the same thing down here. 
where the gold is going. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this to where you guys can see, and this is such an awkward angle. I'll just push against and pull it out. And then I go one direction at a time. I just find it easier instead of flip-flopping my cup over and over and over. And if you guys noticed, I have not re-dipped my brush because I don't want a super, super thick layer of Mod Podge up here. Yeah, this is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. And I'm just using the same bit of Mod Podge that I got originally, and I'm just spreading it out. It's going to look weird, but it's okay. We're going to go back and fix it. We just want to get every part of this covered. And last one. Okay, so now it looks all crazy. Take your brush and do your best to smooth out the lumps, because like I said, they will show up in the glitter. Um, not as bad in the gold glitter, but if it's... If it's a big lump, it'll show. So, not perfectly smooth, but you see every bit of it's covered. Is it still frozen, you guys? Is it working for anybody before I keep going? Nobody's commenting. The last comment I see, Vicky says that it's frozen. Terry says you're still frozen. Hmm. Well, somebody likes something, so hopefully it's working for you guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, right now I'm doing my gold, my recollections gold, just regular gold. And I'm going to open it first of all because it's not open. Can y'all tell I'm really prepared for this tutorial? Okay, when you do the colors that are in between, you don't want to just pour it on like we did on the yellow. You want to kind of go slow and I'm going to pour on the top part first and I'm holding my cup level. That way the glitter doesn't fall into the black and it doesn't fall into the yellow. But it's okay if I get a little bit in the black. It's okay if I get a little in the yellow. I'm not too worried about spreading the colors much. Babe, you've got to stop texting me. Texting me about this video of freezing. Cracking me up. Okay. So just take your time. You don't want to go too fast. And then when you get your excess off, just gently pat. The bottom is not super, super wet now um, because we did a thin layer for the pink, but you don't want to like whack it because you're going to get some of that pink glitter off. So now I've gotten the top done and we're going to angle it when we go down here for the chevrons. So I'm angling and I'm doing each triangle at a time. Just going through and doing each one. Fill in above the triangle if you need to as you go. And usually the reason that I put such heavy coats of the black, the yellow, and the pink glitter on there when I first start out is so it covers all the area that the Mod Podge is. Um, this is the easiest way I've found to get the excess gold off. Don't whack it too hard. Just kind of rock it side to side and tap it a little bit. You can see some of the gold did go into the black and that's okay. And a little is in the yellow. It's not too bad at all. I'm never too worried about it. And now on to the silver. I need more desk space. Do. All right, our last color is the silver. We're going to do it freehand just like we did the gold. And you're going to start in the middle. I just kind of put a little bit of glue on my brush 
and I sort of tap it into the middle and I'm going to spread that out as we go. I'm not going to put a very, very heavy coat on this thing at all because you don't want to overdo it. Okay, so now I've got it dotted in the center and I'm going to push kind of up toward the yellow till it touches and then down just a bit. You see how my marks are? Push up toward the yellow, down a bit. You don't want to cake this on there, I'm telling you guys, you really don't. And if you make as many of these as I do, you, you get really good at it. Okay, done the top. So now we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. And this is so awkward, there's no way that I can do this where I can really see what I'm doing. And where this line is in the tumbler, you want to make sure that you fill this rut or cover this rut because the pink is not going to cover that. You'd have to do multiple layers of the pink in order to get rid of that line. So we want to kind of push the silver in there because the silver does pretty good coverage. Okay, sorry, we're having not good weather here, guys. Um, in the center, you can kind of see where it is kind of clumped up. So I'm going to lightly move my brush to pick that up and get it off my cup. I don't want those clumps on here at all. Okay, just thin layers no huge clumps and we're going to put this thing on holding it level silver hold it level and then just kind of tap it you don't want to shake it on there it's going to get everywhere and it's going to be hard to get out i really really want to try to avoid doing multiple layers of the pink and yellow because we shouldn't have to. We, we painted this thing. We shouldn't have to do multiple layers of it. When you shake it off, just keep it level and turn it to shake it off. So here is what we have. And I'm, I'm not going to epoxy it on here because it's just it's going to take too long and my back would be to you guys because this is where I do my cups. Um, but when I epoxy, somebody asked in the comments what epoxy I use. So I'll show you. Um, you can buy these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon. Anyway, I get the amazing clear cast. I don't use the epoxy resin. Um, and uh, you can get gallon sizes if you want to. That's awesome. So that's what I use. And um, I did say earlier, I want to say it again. Um, when you apply the clear coat and you've got your tumbler on your motor or if you hand turn whatever you use, when you apply the clear coat, go this direction because any yellow that gets in the gold, the yellow is sort of translucent, so you're really not gonna see it. It's gonna move any gold out of the yellow, so your lines are gonna be pretty crisp, and it's going to move some of the gold into the black, so your black doesn't look like straight up tar or nastiness, because it's just not pretty. Um, down here, when I apply the epoxy, I'll go this way, because you've got a little bit of silver in your pink, anyway um, and it's not really going to make that much of a difference and like I said the yellow is kind of translucent so if it gets in your silver if it gets in the pink the silver is going to overpower the yellow anyway um, so I start from the center and I work my way out when I do epoxy and um, I do one coat and after that coat is done I sand it I add the name 
Um, this font is escaping me. Joshico, J O S H I C O, I believe. Um, and just you can size your decal however big you want it. A lot of people like they're smaller. This one had to be bigger because she has a hyphenated name. Um, and then after I put their name on there, um, after I've sanded and then put the decal on, I'll epoxy one more time. I'll do a, a thin coat. Uh, you don't really need a thick coat because it should be smooth from where you sanded it anyway. Um, but that's pretty much how I do my pencil tumblers. Um, I'm going to go through all the comments. I'm going to try to answer any of your questions. Um, if you have anything else you want to ask that um, you think of later or that you might not have wanted to ask on here, please, you're more than welcome to private message me. Um, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Um, but thank you for the overwhelming feedback. Um, I probably should have just done the tutorial and not asked because my Facebook app kept freezing and then my computer kept freezing from all the feedback. Um, but anyway, that is how I do my pencil tumblers. So, ta-da!